I celebrate Ranginui, the Sky Father. I celebrate Papatuanuku, the life-giving Earth Mother. I celebrate Tane Mahuta, Lord of the Forests. I celebrate Tafiri Matia, God of the Winds. And Tangaroa, the Guardian of the Oceans. And I celebrate all of you, good sovereign people of Aotearoa. But I also grieve. I grieve for Papatuanuku, whose soils and fresh waters are being poisoned with toxins. I grieve for Ranginui and Tafiri Matia, whose atmosphere is being defiled with greenhouse gases, geoengineering, and other pollutants. I grieve for Tane Mahuta, whose forests and other plant life are stressed by uncertain weather and infected with fungal disease. I grieve for Tangaroa, whose moana are acidifying with rising temperatures, being radiated with nuclear fallout, and whose marine life is being smothered to extinction with plastic. And I grieve for we, the good sovereign people of Aotearoa, with whom the power resides to enforce Utu. Utu. But who are yet hesitating to exercise their power and strike a mighty blow, not to seek revenge, but to force accountability of responsible decision makers and to restore balance and harmony to our world. Yes, I grieve, because our earth is shaking and our skies are electric with agitation and disturbance. In this Anthropocene age, in this era of existential climate crisis, in this sixth mass extinction of life on planet Earth, which humanity being a part of nature may not survive, I urge all sovereign people not just to listen to the call, but to step up and heed the call to rise up and protect what we value, our whanaunga, our relations, the animals of this land, the children in the oceans, the birds in the sky, the spirits of our waters and the earth. I call on you today to defy the pathological corporate elites and their TPP weapons and their armies and tell those politicians, especially those who carry the tapu of motherhood in their womb or impending motherhood, you are merely our public servants there to do our bidding of we the people the sovereign people of Aotearoa. Woo!